Hi everyone, it's PK here. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I flew to Sydney yesterday with my family, with my um, with my wife and and son, and it was actually a pretty good experience in the airport in the in the Qantas flight as well. It was as if nothing really changed. So I was expecting something dramatic with COVID and everything, but it, it was okay. <laughs> um, so we're in Sydney, and I just wanted to do a quick video on some people have been saying that when they started property investing, it was because they moved house and they didn't really want to sell their old house or they were sort of rushed into property investing back in the day and they don't really know what to do um, with with their current investment property or properties. It was accidental, it wasn't intentional. They, there was no real strategy behind those that purchase or those purchases. Um, so they don't really know whether that property or those properties are good for their property portfolio now that they're taking things more seriously okay and look the recommendation from from me to you if if you're in, in that boat is to make sure that you're not complacent if you have a property if you have multiple properties but they were accidental they weren't bought with intentionality they weren't bought with a clear purpose of growth or development or granny flat or yield or X, xyz um, then really assess what you need to do about them okay so imagine you didn't have them for a second and just think in 10 years time what is my goal what do i actually want to get out of property investing um, property investing is a vehicle for some outcome in the future so what is my goal in 10 years time and therefore what is my strategy okay and then once you have that strategy and i've talked about strategy before so go back to that video um, then in that context, in that lens, assess, does this property fit into that strategy? Okay, if it doesn't, then don't be emotional, don't hold on to it just because you already have it. Okay, I've seen so many people hold a property for 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, just because they already have it, and it's done nothing for them, and it's inhibited them being able to buy more property, and it's inhibited them from being able to produce a passive cash flow, a passive income for themselves and, and their families, okay? So put it through the ringer, put it through the test, put it through the system of will this property grow in the first five years, okay? I'm not talking about infrastructure, that mythical statement or growth corridors. Is the data, are the 20, 30, 35 data factors, their trends, their <clears throat> relative importance, is that system saying that this property will grow in the short term? That's one question. And second question is, is it giving me a good yield? And when I say good yield, I mean, assume it's on a 90% <clears throat> LVR or 100% LVR. Is it positive cash flow, right? Just because you can hold on to it, manage to scrape by, doesn't mean that it's a good property to hold, okay? So really be true to yourself, really be hush to some extent to yourself and say look if i was here today would i buy this property and if the answer is no then in most cases the answer really you need to um, say to yourself is this is not a good property for me to hold there's an opportunity cost if i sell this and i know there's transaction costs if i sell this i can get something better i can actually achieve that goal that i want to in 10 years time and i can actually achieve a passive income if you're emotionally attached to it or you just can't be bothered with the whole thing, then you're really shooting yourself in the foot, okay? So I just wanted to um, just leave you guys with that um, brainwave of mine here in Sydney. Um, it always seems that in Sydney it's sunny, but it, somehow it's always gloomier than Brisbane. I don't know what it is about it. Sorry for um, all you Sydney folks. Um, so hopefully that was valuable. Um, if it was, please like this video. Um, please leave me, leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts or even if you disagree. That's completely fine. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Take it easy. Enjoy your Sunday. Bye.